okay so let's take a look at how we can import csv data into sql server so i have one of the sample csv file so it says users.csv which contains id of total 100 numbers right then first name last name email gender and their ssn numbers so this is a mock data that i have and i want to import this into sql server so what i will do is i will open sql server studio right so here you see i have sql server management studio and i'm going to open that and within one of the databases i will try to import this particular data as our table now let me connect to the database from windows authentication once connected we will try to access one of our database which is test tv now when i right click on it and then let's see right so when you right click on it and then go for tasks and then here you see there are two options one being import flat file so which can be used for csv files as well and we will take a look at that in another way so here first we will take a look at import data option right so what we will do is we will get one csv data using import data method and another one using flat file method so let's click on import data now here you see this sql server import export wizard click next and here we have to mention the data source right so here let's go for flat file sources right then we'll click next here we have to give it file name so within desktop we have to check for all files and we have users.csv open that now what we will do is we will check columns here you can see our top being the column for our tables right and rest of the stuff we have data so this works out perfectly well showing comma as column delimiter row delimiter is lf you also have options for crlf that also works but you will notice that it doesn't show you your data properly right so simply go with lf right so here you see uh, one more thing which is preview right uh, data rows to skip here you can mention if you want any particular data to skip right so if i want to say only 50 rows to keep then i can skip the remaining 50 by typing in 50 number here and right so like this we can make few changes here you can see you have id first name last name email gender ssn as your columns right so you can also suggest types here right so here you see first it shows string type if you want to change that to let's say integer you can mention that here so let's say you want id to show only numbers so you can see it should be unique and also it should be numeric so dt numeric right next thing uh, you can do for other columns as well right then finally now after you do the editing you can go to click next then it should show you your destination which here you have to select sql server native client and then use windows authentication and then your database test db right and then click next right here you can choose a users table within your test db click next right you can run this immediately click next and then click finish and here you see it says success to all the checks we can now close right now we can check for right so now we can check for tables and here you see dbo users now if we 
select first 100 rows that will run a query and it will show us the output right as you can see our data is properly imported into SQL Server and we have a user stable out of CSV data now let's take a look at how you can import CSV data through flat file option so when you log into your SQL Server Management Studio and select your database here right click and then go for task and then click on import file now this should open import flat file you, uh, option for you to check and here you see uh, you have to specify input file containing the data right then we can preview it and then add it within our database next we have to specify the file so let's go to desktop choose your file which is csv in your case you can name your new table uh, i'm going to name it medic then you can use table schema dbo if you have created any other schema you can choose from here then simply click next now it should show you the data that you are about to import as you can see it has shown me first 50 rows so we have id first name last name health id medicine diagnosis right now we can import this by clicking next we can import the column here you can set your id as primary key right and you cannot allow nulls within any of this because this is medic data right so we are not going to allow that right yeah uh, it says tiny integer you can increase that to your regular integer right then click next right we have the summary click finish your data is inserted now close this now if we go to our tables we have to refresh this right and we have our medic table which is from our flat file which is a csv file you can have it through any other means tsv or dot dat file or simple text file uh, with some delimiter that can separate your rows and columns right so we have our table ready we can run the query to check first 100 rows now we have run the query and it has shown me the results of my 100 rows of medic data within medic table so you get the idea how you can import your flat file within sql server management studio and create a table based on that data okay so let's take a look at how you can export sql server database table to csv format right so first thing let's connect to our sql server then check the database let's see i have test db database within which i have one table let's say medic that i wish to export to csv format and to do that i have now what we will do is we will right click on our database then click on task and then export data now it should open import export wizard now here let's click on next right now we have to choose the data source which is going to be our sql server native client right we will use windows authentication then choose the database right and then click next now here we'll have to choose a destination we are going to choose flat file destination then choose the file name let's name this medical.csv right and then keep the locale english as is format delimited because we want csv right now click next then use copy data from one more table or views click next now keep the row delimiter crlf then comma column delimiter set to comma right and our source table which is 
medic right click next then it should ask you to run immediately again click next right finalize the settings check them and go back if you want and finally click finish and here you see 100 rows transferred from the database zero error zero warning click close now on desktop you'll find your csv file created you can open this within excel and you'll find all the 100 rows that we just explore are visible within this particular csv file that we have opened in excel